God is real. I do not cry. Today, unwillingly, it happened. Now, I don't know this woman. This woman does not know me. I have never made eye contact with her in my entire life. I have never probably been even close to her, relatively close to her in my entire life. I have never seen her before. I am extremely skeptical when people tell me their stories of miracles that happen and them speaking through the Lord. But today, God spoke to me. And genuinely, it was insane. I don't know who you are. Do I know you? Never met you before. Know this gentleman in the blue hoodie. That's your little brother. Come in, I pray for you. How old are you, little brother? The Lord says, you're in a place of re realizing there's more. The Lord says, I'm turning your whole world around. And God says, there's change coming. Something about work in you. God says, I'm going to show you the work ethics like you've never known worth ethics. Because the Lord says, I'm going to prosper you. As you trust me, I'll cause you to prosper, says the Lord. If you lift your hands, I just want you to feel the presence. There's an anointing in his presence. Father, I loose the fire of the Holy Ghost upon this little brother. I thank you, Lord, that he carries. He doesn't even know what he's carrying right now. I see your spirit, man, and God says, I'm depositing thoughts that you never would have thought of in the past. And the Lord says, I'm causing you to surrender everything because the Lord says there's coming a fresh fire in this hour and your generation is going to carry that fire. And the Lord says, your generation is going to see the captives set free. Fresh fire. Fresh anointing. That's the fire of God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that when he lays in bed tonight, he'll be acutely aware that he's not alone. That the presence of the Lord is with him. That Jesus, your Holy Spirit, is at work deep within his soul. And he's going to know, I'm not alone. God, you give him a plan. The Lord says, I'm going to give you a plan. I'm going to give you a purpose. And the Lord says, there's going to be a day. You're going to own your own business, says the Lord. Your own business. And what's behind you is under your feet. God says, you're moving forward in spiritual increase. And Lord, I loose the anointing. I loose the anointing. I loose the tongue of a disciple in him. I ask God you give him a tongue of the disciple. That he will teach and he will speak a word in season. That he will teach the word. That he will teach the word. Thank you, Lord. That you will teach the word, says the Lord. For I will give you the tongue of a disciple and you will know that you have the ear of the learned. In Jesus' name. It's a call of God on your life. Do you know there's a call of God on your life? There's a call of God on your life. There's a great call of God on your life. God's going to use you sovereignly. You haven't seen nothing yet. Ha! Huh. You'll go all over the world evangelizing. And say, the Lord has done this with me. Through me. I loose an impartation of the Lord. It's a call of God in his life. She said, you're in a place of realizing there's more. Now, you guys don't know me deeply, but truly, I'm at war with myself every single day. Every single day. I know there's more. I know there's a God and a lot of people my age, um, especially in the generation that we live in, decide to not follow that. Every day, I know there's more. I know there's more. My entire life, is based basically around work ethic, the business that I just started up. I have never met this woman in my entire life, and she is speaking through God to me, and I'm just in disbelief. I'm feeling the Holy Spirit, the strongest I've ever felt it. Some of you may just be like, this seems like a joke. Truly, you have no idea. Something about work ethic. Jesus is telling you, as you trust him, you will prosper. He will make you prosper. Sometimes at war is not knowing the plan. Sometimes at war is fighting to see and feel what is right in God's eyes. Sometimes war is fighting this subconscious good versus bad. Which way do I lean? Which decision do I make every single day? Two weeks ago, the mass I went to, I was also prayed over. I sit there and mind my own business. I try and learn. I have had insomnia for a long time. This woman, once again, just said, when he goes to sleep at night, you're going to remind him that he's not alone. You guys don't know me that deep, but it's about time. I guess you might as well. 
especially since we're starting that second channel. I didn't grow up with a rich family. I also didn't grow up in the greatest household. And sleep isn't the easiest thing for me. Again, just in shock, right? Change is coming. You will, you will own your own business. I'm in the process of buying my first home with my girlfriend currently. Every day, I'm trying to figure out the plan, what I'm here for. I love making these videos for you guys. I love helping people in financial freedom. I enjoy doing it. And there's a, there's a plan going forward. There's a new opening beginning. There's a new change coming. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to ride with the Lord and I'm going to trust Him. And I suggest whatever age you are, you pick up the Bible and you read it or you watch videos and you listen and you understand and you build a relationship with God. Because once you seek him, you will find him. You will. Ultimately, I wanted to share this video because it's... I don't know who else to tell, right? I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to tell people, but you guys have to know. I have gone to church my entire life. There was a point where I didn't know why I was going. I, In the sense that I didn't understand what I was learning. I did still believe in God. And then there was a time where... I decided to try and start learning, seek out God, uh, figure things out, right? And it opened this whole new world. And looking for signs, this is, today was just insane. This woman prior to this was talking about these stories of the Lord speaking to her and her traveling and going here and going there and, you know, the, the trip getting paid for miraculously, this other stuff. My sister's fiance's brother, his wife, found out that she could not conceive. She could not give birth. And what she thought is he's not going to want to marry her anymore. Obviously, that's a really hard thing to get over. Especially, you know, both you and your partner believe in the Lord. Believe that having a child is one of the greatest things, if not the greatest things, right? So she thought that he wasn't going to want to marry her anymore. Beyond the fact. They got married. This woman, the same woman that spoke to me, comes up and says, <clears throat> let me know what you're going to name the twins. And they laughed at her. And said, okay. They laughed, right? She said, okay, listen, just let me know. That's it. She didn't, she didn't add anything else. One year later, one year later, she's pregnant. Twins. And now, developed young kids that are very healthy, twins, amazing. I heard that after she spoke to me and randomly called me out. So that is just absurd. It's, it's insane. Because I've seen these stories forever, and you really always have a little bit of doubt until something like this happens to you. And I'm afraid nothing like this would have ever happened if I never seeked God. In Matthew, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and it will be added to you. It also mentions a similar thing in Hebrews eleven six 6, that those who seek him will be rewarded. Seek the Lord, seek his strength, seek his presence continually, without stop, without stop of fighting, right? And I will say today, every single thing that I have at such a young age and have built for myself is all thanks to the Lord. Go seek God, guys. Go seek him. Every single thing that you have in this life will be gone and will not matter. I promise you that. And don't take it from me. Happy Sunday. God bless. Listen, go watch the football game. Go enjoy your time. Spend time with family, friends, whatever it is. Love you. Peace. And also make sure to get in the Discord, guys. See you.